Hello friends, I am Rishav Krishna, UPSC Central Armed Police Forces Assistant Commandant, All India Rank 40, 2017 examinations. And today I am here to share with you the strategies, the tips and some motivational stuff that can help you achieve uh, success in this examination. So let's start by speaking about myself. Uh, I am a native of Bhagalpur, Bihar. I completed my B.Tech from VIT Velo, that's Velo Institute of Technology, B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering. And then, so let's start with how it all started, okay? So let's motivate you a little bit so that it's not all about tips and strategies, that's like, that will only take five minutes. And let's motivate you a little bit, like why you should go for this examination and how I, like, hopefully my story can make you, you know, a little bit motivated. So, like, I completed my B.Tech in December 2016, and then I was back home. To be truthful, I had no intentions of writing UPSC in 2017. I had no, like, you know what, there are two kinds of people in this world. There are one who have their dreams, their lives sorted out since they are, like, one, two, you know, one, two, it's, like, two, like, like they are first class, second class, they are always at the top of the class. After 10th, they know they have to go for the IITs. After IITs, they know they have to go for their GREs, their MTECs, their PhDs. They have their life sorted out. And then comes the second class. That's me, I guess, many of you. Like, we don't know what we are doing unless life gives at a, you know, a jolt, a push. Like, that's what happens. And then we decide that, no, it's time for us to get serious. So, like, I have this book. Like, when I was in first year, this is a fat book. Sorry for the bad condition. So when I was in the first year, my dad gifted me this book and told me that if you have time, then do go through this. And to be truthful, I never went through it. And what I did was I used it as a laptop stand. I used to play a lot of games like Far Cry, Counter Strike and all. And the laptops used to get, you know, heated up. And this was my laptop stand. <laughs> so that was the only use I did of this book for the four years. Then I passed my retech. And I came home and then also I was not thinking about UPSC. It was the January of 2016 and I thought that I will write GRE. I'll take the GRE exams and I will go to some foreign destination to compete my MTech. And sincerely, I did not like engineering. I like India is a country, I think, where people are not deciding to become an engineer first and then decide what they have to do with their future. And I think I was also part of that race and I did not like it. I did not love it. And so I was literally not interested, but there were no scopes and I was not knowing like thanks to Ravi that we have this channel and people are guiding you like I didn't have much guidance to be truthful. So like I studied for GRE, I was ready to take the GRE, but I did not have my passport. So I have to wait like my syllabus was over. I had to wait. Then one day I took this fat book and like I was just going through and I took 2012 UPSC paper, I guess. And all I knew was if I if you get you pay a civil services paper, that is. And I knew that if you get 50%, then you're qualified. That's all I knew about UPSC, like you're qualified. And I got 35 questions right. I was happy, like, and I enjoyed it. So I gave it a thought. And on 4th of March, 2016, 2017, 4th March, 2017, I started my studies. This for all of you who think that you have little time left, no time. I started my studies on 4th of March, 2017. 18th June 2017 was UPSC Civil Services Prelims and 23rd July 2017 was UPSC Central Armed Police Force Assistant Commandant Examination, okay? So my started, no idea, no guidance, nothing. I sat at home. I had all the things I need. I had my pets, Bane, my German Shepherd and Caesar, my Golden Retriever, my parents, Maa Hatka Khana. And I didn't think I need anything else. All it was needed was my determination and my will to succeed and how hard I wanted this job. So, like, then, like, starting, I took help from, the, like, thankful, I am very thankful to the internet, like, I have qualified this examination all due to the internet. So, like, I searched a lot, then I finally got Brunal, and Brunal said, like, he had a good guidance, but still I was not feeling it, so I searched a lot, like, I went through all the NCRTs, but I was not feeling, but after solving, NCRT is a base, yeah, sure you should study, but you can't just depend on it, you're getting my point? Like, if you just depend on it, you will never succeed, to be truthful. You have to give more. Like, it's the base. Like, it provides you a base, but it doesn't give you everything that you want, okay? So, I studied NCRT, but I was not feeling it. I was not able to solve much questions in the exams. And that's my German Shepherd barking. So, like, I was, what should I do? What should I do? Then, 
like dheere dheere i got in the flow i searched a lot like one month was lost and i was still reading the ncrts but after that i got and now i'm sharing with you the books that you have to study for paper 1 okay first thing is bipin chandra the history of modern india uh this book plus there is one more of bipin chandra india has struggled for independence i don't have that book i got it from my father's library that's why i had to return it but this is one and get along with it india's struggle for independence okay it's a fat book penguin publications this is i guess uh, orient black swan and that is penguin publications so get that book and trust me like these days we are watching movies like if bhai hit some guy he goes 5 feet 6 feet away but trust me when you read that book india struggle for independence there are real heroes that you would love like when jhansi ki rani died even the opposition captain of the english army said like she was the only man fighting among them all and i am not able to express it but when you read that story how she died and what all things she did like it literally give you goosebumps and never thought books could be that interesting before you started studying for upsc and the other thing i would say is like tipu sultan tipu sultan like when third anglo mysore war i guess he was on the verge of uh, dying and uh, he was attacked from all the sides and his soldiers could have ran away he could have gone to france he could have seek you know asylum but he did not and all the soldiers stayed along with him and they fought till their last breath now these are some stuffs that you know really give you good like you enjoy it i love it on my side then that was history history you remember bipin chandra a history of modern india and then you have india struggle for independence bipin chandra okay that's all you don't need to study anything else except these two books and and ncrts are a base you have to read all the ncrts never miss the ncrts then when it comes to i guess civics the politics the bible m lakshmikant there cannot be a better book than this and there will not be a better book than this i love this book it is everything that you want please study it like top to bottom the like the year i gave there were cases asked like minerva mills case what happened okay keshav nand bharti case what happened so like the cases can be asked like what is happening and what is not happening so you have to study this book top to bottom line to line all the bullet points cover okay it's very important and after you read this i suggest there is no more need for anything else this book is like everything you need for the civics and it's very important trust me on that and then i would say yeah i forgot like geography when it comes to geography i my study started with geography okay like uh, i was not getting an on brunal uh, there is this geography section where raj tanil solanki ma'am teaches you geography there are some 50 60 odd videos and believe me man she teaches like i have never felt someone teaching that deep and that good it was so awesome like learning those video lectures i never learned like for geography like there are many guys who are how should i start studying i'm telling you like man nahi laga baith nahi pata hu kaise uthne der baitho go for those video lectures it's so interesting that you will automatically start you develop that habit to sit you know it's so interesting she is the best geography teacher i should say like i have ever encountered and i just love the way she teaches brunal patel youtube rajtalin solanki geography under that section there is a playlist of geography start with that study that and i'm telling you like i have not referred any book anything else except raj tanil solanki's videos and then there is one nitin sangwan sir like he is an ias officer at the moment he qualified civil services three times and uh, his notes like he has his geography notes and once you study those notes he has covered the full ncrt like you have to get through the ncrts but you can't always study them they are so big like 6th class to 12th class how will you cover them like he has the best gist you know Like he has covered all the sections and then made it so crisp and so concise. You love it. So Rajasthani Solanki's ma'am videos for geography and along with it Nit- Nitin Sangwan's sir notes. It's available for free. Just write on Google like Nitin Sangwan's geography notes. It's available for free. Download it and study it top to bottom. It's two forty odd pages, but it's awesome. Trust me, it's awesome. Okay, geography covered, history covered, civics covered. Now we come to like economics and environment in civil services. It uh, it's asked. but in central armed police forces it's not that important i'm repeating again it's not that important economics and environment in central armed police forces examination still if you want environment there is this book like shankar ias book it covers everything if you have time go for it if you don't have time just listen to me like go for ncrt class 12th by
बायोलॉजी ओके द लास्ट फोर चैप्टर चैप्टर थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन बायोडाइवर्सिटी इट हैज द बेस्ट लाइक यू विल इन्जॉय स्टडिंग इट एंड इज वेरी गुड कॉन्टेंट लाइक एंड समटाइम्स इन सिविल सर्विस डायरेक्ट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम दैट सेक्शन वन टाइम इन मेन्स इट केम फ्रॉम दैट सेक्शन सो इट्स वेरी गुड बुक एंड इट विल कवर एवरी थिंग यू डोंट एंड इफ यू नीड अ लिटिल बिट मोर देन आई हैव दिस नितिन सांग वन नोट्स प्रिंटेड लाइक यू ऑल्सो कैन इट्स अवेलेबल इजली यू नो नितिन सांग वन इट्स अवेलेबल इजली ऑनलाइन जस्ट डाउनलोड इट जो एक इन्वायरमेंट नोट्स इज वेरी शॉर्ट इज फोर्टी पेज इज ऑर्ड एंड ही कवर्स ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड एवरी थिंग सो यू कैन गो फॉर दैट सो वट हैपन शंकर आई एस बुक एंड नितिन सांग वन सेस नोट्स एंड शंकर आई एस बुक नॉट दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट गो फॉर एन सी आर टी यूनिट यूनिट आई फॉर गॉट बट क्लास ट्वेल्थ लास्ट फोर चैप्टर्स एन सी आर टी क्लास ट्वेल्थ लास्ट फोर चैप्टर्स विल कवर एवरी थिंग यू नीड ओके देन लेट्स गो टू साइंस साइंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक वेन यू गो टू द सिविल सर्विसेज दे डोंट आस्क यू सिंपल बायोलॉजी फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन वेन यू कम टू सेंट्रल आर्म पुलिस फॉर असिस्टेंट कमांडेंट दे विल आस्क यू एंड दे विल आस्क यू लॉट्स ऑफ इट सो हेयर इज इट लाइक वट आई डिड फ्रॉम सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ डाउनलोडेड ऑल द बुक्स देन आई स्टार्ट मेकिंग नोट्स बिकॉज as i told you like 6 to 12 you can't revise that the day of exam and then i made hand written notes you see like important points i noted jotted down all the important points of physics then i went for chemistry then i went for biology like see it's this much only and it did not take me more than 3 days like in 3 day 3 or 4 days or i completed it so this was what i made for like i jotted down all the important points that i got from the ncrts like 2018 the science section was really tough it was tough and math section was also tough but in my year it like covering the ncrts it helped me like it helped me and i did it and i did it with these ncrts only and it was very good i i was able to answer lots of the questions okay so general science you have to go through 6 to 12 ncrts and if something tough comes uh, it's better to leave it like there's this trend going on that i see in upsc like previous years uh you were like the teachers told us like go for elimination techniques uh you know opt for as much as you can but no it has changed this year i gave civil service at this year also and i was not prepared with full my interviews for central and police forces were going on but trust me this year it's all about how many questions you can get right feeling me how many questions you can get right that's important not how many questions you can attempt so in the science you're getting many tough questions like these are very tough questions for organic chemistry you know leave it don't worry about it leave it and that's what it did the easy ones solve it the tough ones leave it if it's not from 6 to 12 ncrt i would suggest leaving it okay like that's what i would have done so this was what i made for the notes i made okay and then comes math math was the section that really helped me score a lot like the bible quantitative aptitude by rs agarwal important chapter hcf lcm average allegation mixtures profit loss like the important percentages that's what they ask like age questions train crossing you getting me so that's what they ask so this book the important topics but once you look at the question paper na you will feel it yourself like yeah these are the important ones so go for that okay this book maths covered and then the last thing level economy and the seldom ask you but still like there is this ramesh singh but i find it very lengthy and not worthy of in the central armed police forces and i prefer this like i used to prefer ncrts but ncrts language is so confusing and never got it and never felt it i never had a connection with it feeling me so i got this shankar nagesh it's the best book i ever read about economics and i love this book so go for this book okay in the economy shankar nagesh if you have time they won't ask much questions regarding this i guess i covered all the subjects okay economy maths then your general science your environment your civics uh, your history okay all covered and then you can revise repeat like uh, roll the video back and then jot it down what all books i said okay for uh, current affairs current affairs like uh, you have to go for vision ies insight ies ies parliament and initiative by shankar ies uh, these three i think are the best but go for one you know don't full around like i'll study this i'll study that like uh, i had three i told you know like started my studies on 4th march and on 18th june i qualified upsc civil services preliminary examination 2016 2 and what i felt was i could have done three four motions more correct uh, only if i would have gone for one current affairs source okay i jotted so many that i did some mistakes so like don't go for many go for one and just go it through thoroughly okay feeling me and <clears throat> these are all everything and current affairs what are, they ask like in my year they ask many things related to the books prize you know man booker prize who won like the scholarship prizes 
and then also the sports prizes uh, the current of like the, recently the pakistani soldiers mutilated a bsf soldier you know that and i'm still angry about it and i will do something about it when i become get to that post but you you can they can ask question related really, that which uh, battalion that bsf guy was that psf constable that shaheed which uh, battalion was he in and where did happen okay these questions anything related to military can come in the examination the battalions the everything like which battalion where was he posted this that what is his name which post was he at anything can be asked book prizes are very important and the sports prizes are very important then simple current affairs are important you know current affairs is current affairs you just can't segregate them but still the book prizes must revision and anything relating to defense if it's coming revise it and go okay like all the missiles and anything anything can come the guns the rafale deal what is rafale deal? anything can come you feeling me so general that's all i'd say that's all for the study stage then comes paper second paper second like it's simple english to be truthful like go through the grammar 25 grammar questions will be there try to get as many correct as possible because they are easy marks and they are sure marks so get the grammars correct the grammars are like simple yaar indirect direct active passive and then plural stuffs antonyms synonyms you know you can do it right but get it right like go through internet search for sources and do like i did that i don't remember what of sources i studied but i go, got through it through internet then essays you have to be good at writing then report writing just see the format go for it second paper is important like there is one guy i guess sunand kumar he was not having good marks in paper 1 but he did excellent in paper 2 and he is all india rank 19 if i am right so like sunand i remember that name so that guy was having poor marks in paper 1 but with paper 2 he compensated it and he got all india rank 19 you know he was like i guess 20 marks behind me or 25 marks behind me in paper 1 but he did so good in paper 2 that you know he got i guess 10 marks 12 marks above me and he is all india rank 19 so you see what a difference paper 2 can make make that paper strong attempt all the questions and attempt to write okay these are done then comes you like once you qualified for this then there is your physicals physicals are like not that tough to be truthful like 100 meter in 16 seconds and you don't have to do that like when i practiced i was like full of sand ball poses getting up you know getting all my knees and then running you don't require you just stand and you run that's what required there and then 12 13 seconds are enough it's in 16 seconds it's more than enough 800 meters you have to practice you have to build that stamina to run two rounds of 400 meters and in 3 minute 45 seconds you practice it for like within 20 25 days you'll have that stamina even if you are a, you know you don't work out or anything you'll get that feel and then you have your uh, long jump it's important you know after after 800 meters if you have not practiced your legs get cramped up and then you don't have time within 3 4 5 minutes it will make you jump the long jump and it's it's important like you got three chances and you have to qualify at 3.5 meters you practice it well like it's not tough but please practice it but once you start practice but if you have not practice it's really tough like you're not going to make it if you have not practice and then the last shot shot would the easiest of the lot but remember you only get one chance even if you step out of the line if you fall out of the line like if you get overcome i'm qualified i just threw and you are not going to make it like there was this guy he was the last guy for a lot and i really feel bad for him he qualified everything and he was about to throw he threw the ball and then he crossed his leg above the line and he was disqualified you only get one chance don't mess it up that was all about the physicals then you get to the medicals that is full body checkup you know what happens <laughs> like full body checkup and then your blood test it is everything done like it's not that tough then i was overweight i was 72 kg at the height of 172 cm and i needed to be 67.5 so i was given 2 months to get it and then i got to 62 kilos and uh, i was qualified so overweight is not a big deal so like you will get time and i think probably anyone can do it you can make it up unless you are like a fat so okay then after this like after you get selected you are called for the interview is very important part the most important part it decides your rank and everything and it's you know unpredictable anything can happen my case no general uh general knowledge questions were asked the most important was scenarios like your battalion is going through a field and one of your convoys has been attacked your soldiers know that the guys who attacked are from this village and they want to attack the village people only what would you do being at that position my answer was like we are there to protect the democracy and by doing such stuff like if we do such atrocities that's what the maoists are feeding on getting me so like these then if you were on the crew of titanic and when the time it sank what would be age 
different scenario question like tricky question you'd love it like it was one of the best experiences of my life and interviews are very very awesome i loved interview from starting to the end it was an unforgettable experience and so that was all brothers and so let's have some motivational tips also like a uh, lot of studies getting i i guess i told you everything yeah i did so let's go to the motivational stuff like dekho like many of you would be like like dekho bahut bahut log aap mein aise honge like main apne aap ko usme manta hu jo studies ke liye serious nahi tha a guy who was well in studies but i never was serious about it and kya hi batao like if you are getting arrears in college if you are having backlogs in college and you are thinking yaar mere to college nahi ho raha main aage ka kya sochu and maybe you are taking 6 months extra to complete a btech degree trust me been there done that you are going through a heartbreak your lady love your guy love walked upon you and you are sitting there you know sochta hu ki wo kitne masoom the trust me been there done that and then maybe your relatives come to your house you are studying you have no job like me i left the jobs i was unemployed and your relatives come to your house and they they knew that you are not doing but still they will ask you the question or kya chal raha hai aajkal and then trust me been there that that so like all these anger these stuff like get it together and work hard the day your name comes in that holy pdf it's really it's really going to be the best moment of your life the pride in your father size the tears in your mother size and the um, happiness in your sister size and the excitement in your friend size trust me those are the moments you live for and what else could i say like that was all i guess <laughs> and trust me guys don't give up i think the only thing that i i'm i'm telling you there are many people who are more knowledgeable than me who have more knowledge than me but the one thing that differentiated me and them was my determination to succeed i knew i wanted it so bad like ha huh, and this is thing like first you know yourself better than anybody this job requires violence it's not a who like you're a non-violent guy i don't fight you can't go like that get like and don't just give it because it's upsc i'll become an officer don't go for it if you're really into it go for it i assessed myself i knew there were only a few jobs that my personality would suit army my option was gone like i had no idea how to go into the army and when i got the idea the chance had already passed okay so cds was gone out of the question then i checked i had three jobs that i loved the like two or three civil services one is indian police service and the next is this through civil services assistant commissioner in the railway protection force i loved that job too but civil services i was not able to qualify 2016 2017 i really didn't prepare well and the prelims were not clear and the third was this like this job was hand made cut out for me i loved the job the moment i saw it and i think it will suit my personality so check the personality and know like it's going to be a hard job you require to fight for your motherland you can't be a, and just don't just give it because uh, you want to be an officer trust me like there are many other people like i know the admin of this page like ravi rao he is really really motivated guy and he really deserved to win that list and because of some people who just come and write the exams and walk away like no it's hardship we are in for the chill scenes uh, please don't like If you love it, go for it. So I would like to end my speeches like, do this because maybe you are working hard for it, not achieving something. But trust me, the name, the day your name comes in that PDF, you will just love the moment. Do it for yourself, do it for your parents, and do it to serve your motherland. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Signing off.